Today I'm going to go through setting up the node on the desktop version of the Pi Network app, as we see here. Um, to do so, if you go to the roles section in the menu, you can see where you can download the uh, desktop version. Uh, once you do so, you want to head over to your mobile phone app and between the chat and FAQ section, you will actually see, uh, it will say node. Once you click on it, it'll prompt you to put in a sign in code, which you will receive which, once you open the desktop app. Uh, once you put that code in and hit confirm, the two apps will sync and your interface will look identical. So your desktop version will, this is my desktop and you'll see exactly what you see on your phone. The only difference being the node. So to set that up, you'll hit node. And mine's already set up. However, um, we can still see the process. And the first thing you gotta do is install Docker. Now, this part is fairly self-explanatory. Um, you download Docker from the internet and it kind of runs in the background. There is not much to do here and not much to screw up. Uh, the part that I did have some issues with was uh, opening the router ports, which was a little more uh, technical and um, took the most time to set up. Now I will go through the process of how I did that step by step. The instructions here are fairly limited, but the first thing you want to do is find out the address of the of your router. And the easiest way to do that is go through command prompt. Once command prompt is open, you want to type in ipconfig. And what we're looking for is default gateway. And this is the address we want. And we can copy and paste that. Once copied and pasted, you can paste that into the address line in your browser. Once we paste it in, we hit enter. And this sign-in screen appears. And for me, this is the screen that caused me the most trouble. However, after doing a few Google searches, uh, I found this site, which actually was a lot of help. And based on um, popular router IPs, it actually gives you a combination of different logins that are possible. Um, after I selected mine, um, I went through a whole bunch of these. Mine actually ended up being user, user, and I had to go through 11 of them before I got to mine, um, but finally that one worked. So once I got to the screen, I was able to enter user, user, enter, and this brought me to my wireless router. Now, to open the ports, we want, mine is under, I mean, everybody's is gonna be different. Mine was under advanced, and you wanna look for port forwarding. Mine is just called forwarding. Now here, mine's already set up. However, I will show you, if I hit edit, you wanna open the range of ports that is um, specified on the Pi app. Here we can see that the range of ports that need to be opened are from 31400 through 31409. And if we look here, uh, both for local and external start and end port, we put in those values starting at 31400 through 31409. And once you hit apply, it'll create, it, it'll open those ports. Now that is everything, you that, that is all you have to do um, with the router. At this point, um, your router should be set up and your Docker should be running. And at this point, you can hit the check now button to make sure everything is working. Now, I wanna point out that uh, this took me several tries. Um, the first time I hit it, I had three or four ports still not open. I waited a minute or a few seconds and hit it again. And in total, it probably took me three or four, maybe five tries to, uh, for the ports to actually all open up. I didn't have to do anything, I just had to give it some time and it finally worked. Now, once everything's up and running, you hit continue and 
you see the toggle. This is the toggle that turns the port on or turns the node on and off. Uh, and at this point, you're ready to go. Uh, the only thing I want to say is that at one point by chance, once I had the node running for a few weeks, I had clicked on the text setup. And when I visited here, some of these nodes were not open and I had to click this check now button several times again. And again, without doing anything, the problem corrected itself. It just needed a refresh. And again, I was back up and running, but that's something to keep in mind and to just check on once in a while. And uh, that's how you set up a node. Thanks for watching.